Hi, what I want to do with this video is I want to explain one of the problems that students have regarding cash increasing on the debit side. So a lot of students come up to me after class and I'll say, I, just, I don't understand why when a cat, why does cash go up when you debit it? I thought when your account got credited that that would be an increase in the cash account. And at least that's what happens when the bank credits my account. That's good. That's good news. And so I don't quite understand why it's reversed. Is it reversed from what the banks are? And the answer is, is, is actually not reverse. It's actually the same system. Um, it's just a different way of looking at it. So think about it if you're the bank. Okay, so just, and a bank is a business, just like any other business. It could be a landscaping business, it could be a bank, right? So you, you got a bank and the bank's got different accounts and one of the bank accounts that the bank has is, cash, is, an, is an account called cash. And of course, you know, there's a debit side to the account and a credit side to the account to the cash, just like a regular business. So the bank's got a cash account. Now imagine the bank doesn't have any money in the account. You know, it's a, maybe it's a brand new bank, maybe it's early in the morning, nothing in the drawers, nothing in the safe. The cash, ca the cash account has nothing in it. So then what happens is David Perone, I, I walk into the bank and I say, here, deposit this $100 into my account. And the teller says, fine. Teller takes the $100, Okay, before the bank had no money, now the bank has $100. So the bank's cash account increases by $100. So it doesn't matter if you're a bank, doesn't matter if you're a landscaper, doesn't matter if you're Walmart. When you receive cash, you, your cash goes up, you debit cash. So what's going to happen is the bank is going to debit their cash account by $100. Then what happens is the rules of accounting say, well, for every $100 worth of debits, you got to have $100 worth of credits or entries on the, on the right side. So the question becomes is, what account or whose account should we credit? And of course, if David Perone was the person who came in and dropped off the $100, then they're going to debit David Perone's account. And so the customer, David Perone, when they get their statement, they see the credit to their account and their credit from their point of view, well, the account uh, was credited and therefore it was good news. But the bank is just showing you what the, how they did the accounting and they debited cash and they credited David Perone's account. Now the question is, of course, we know what type of account cash is. Cash is an asset account. So then what type of an account is David Perone's account? And the answer is it's a liability. And the reason why it's a liability is because the bank owes David Perone $100, right? That money doesn't belong to the bank, it belongs to David Perone. David Perone could go back into the bank and say, hey, I want my $100, I'm closing this account, I'm moving somewhere else, I'm gonna put it on a mattress, whatever it is. But this David Perone is a liability account. Now, let's take it one step further. So David Perone says, hey, you know, I don't want to take out the, all the money. I want to take out 20 bucks. So David Perone goes to the ATM machine, takes out $20 from the ATM machine. And so uh, the cash at the bank gets reduced. So there's a credit to the cash account from the bank's point of view for $20. So the cash no longer has $100. The, ca the cash balance for the bank would be $80. Pretty sad bank that only has $80. But, um, and then David, if you have uh, $20 worth of credits, you got to have $20 worth of debits. And of course, that's the debit here. And so now David Perone's account has an $80 credit balance. And remember from Alice, A-L-I-C-E, and how she went to New York and got pregnant, you remember that the normal balance of an asset account is a debit balance just like the normal uh, the normal balance of a liability account is a credit balance so that Alice uh, memory device not only tells you what side that the account gets larger on but it also tells you what the normal balance is and of course the normal balance of a cash account is a debit and the normal balance of a, of a liability account is a credit anyway hopefully that helps you out hopefully it makes a little bit more sense